How do we start? How do we normally start? It's mail time! Oh yeah, it's mail time! Hi everybody, it's mail time. Welcome to Big Augie World. Welcome back to Kelly. Hello. We are in Kelly's kitchen today because uh, you will be creating a lovely minestrone soup later. I am. Hence why there's a book behind us. We, yeah. we had it the other day as part of uh, the kind of secondary bit of our juicing diet mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's delish. It really is fab. It's definitely worth a try. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we'll discuss that uh, in the fullness of time um, and you'll be seeing the video for that very soon. Today is mail time. We love a mail time, do we not? So we've got a whole bunch of things today. We have. Where do you want to start? Uh, I don't know, you choose. Let's start with that one because it's um, what is in the way. First. No, no, no one can see you go in that box. So, some things are sent to us, some things we buy. So two of these have been sent to us, two of these things we bought, or I bought actually, to be honest, because I'm wacky enough like that. Come on, that's mine, is it not? I don't know if they even see that yet, but that's mine. And this is kind of something I've wanted for a long time, so we kind of persuaded ourselves, I persuaded you, that we needed one. Yeah, well, you know, the big C word is coming, Christmas is coming, and um, I've kind of missed this for the last few years. We've not done one of these. This so, is the first time we've even looked at this ourselves. Yeah, it so might be broke yet, we don't no, know. No, it's not broke. No, okay. Is that out of the way if I put... No, on the floor, there we go. Right there. Just cast it away, don't cast that away, will you? Yeah, it's a trifle dish, a trifle, but oh, I've always wanted one of these, look, you can do proper trifles now, proper trifles. Uh, we got this from Next, 16 quid, uh, cheaper than the one you get at Waitrose and everything else, We've about 25. We've looked for the last two years on a trot at the ones in Waitrose, and if you're lucky to catch them, because we've only got a small Waitrose really, if you're lucky enough to catch a trifle dish, they've got a really nice patterny one. Yeah, you're very good at um, multitasking. Sorry. I mean, that needs to be washed off properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which was really nice, and it was about £15. So you can't, don't see it very often. But when it comes to Christmas, they seem to take the fancy one off, yeah. put a plain one, and, very like this and on, double the price. and double the price, and yeah. it goes up to 20 to £25. Pounds. Well, I'm not paying that for no, a trifle I'm, dish. To be honest, we went to a charity shop yesterday because we're now collecting lots of cookery books, obviously, mm -hmm. for, for you all to enjoy because we're playing lots of recipes, and we realised that we got rid of loads of our cookery books over the years when we've moved yeah, we five have. times, like you do. So now we're kind of buying them all back from the charity shop. Great idea, by the way, if you wish to um, find out you recipe books. some brilliant ones. Yeah. Um, don't try them around here because we got them all, all right? <laughs> um, but I digress. Did I digress? Yeah, yes. you did. Charity you shop. Did. Yeah, sorry, charity shop. No, the reason for a charity shop because I nearly bought it yesterday. I think it was a pound. Instead of this, which is which is posh, and we can do lovely ones <laughs> to show you what trifles look like on the sides. And they did have a nice old glass fruit bowl, like yeah, my mum had. like a cut crystal. <laughs> cut one, crystal, so yeah. No, it wouldn't have been cut well, crystal. Cut glass, been, you know what I mean. Been, yeah, an old 1960s, 70s fruit bowl and that was what we used to do our trifle, trifle in, in for Christmas because the rest of the time it had fruit in it yeah again any way you like so do you like trifle there is a question I love trifle this brings back kid, the kind of kiddie things to me I think we've decided that our dessert for our Christmas lunch is going to be a trifle yeah it's lighter than a well, let's be honest it's lighter than a massive big heavy Christmas pudding yeah and to be fair and not the kids don't like it the kids don't like it my mum and dad usually come for Christmas lunch anyway and after we've stuffed a Christmas dinner there's not really much room left no for you want to have a, a, a light pudding we seem to like yeah and we never eat Christmas pudding or eat pudding directly after Christmas lunch anyway. We always leave it about an hour or so. Yeah. But even then, you're still not wanting a great big stodgy no, pudding. I, I, I really like Christmas pudding. Um, and we know we've done one on the on here before yeah. and, and we, we do enjoy Christmas pudding, but not necessarily for Christmas day. Christmas for me lasts a long time. My birthday is a couple of days before Christmas. So I start Christmas early, so it can be any time mm. for Christmas. So we're so gonna go trifle. We're gonna go trifle. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try a few different ones. We may do a couple of recipes to show you on the channel. Um, and then we'll decide which one we want. I kind of got an idea for block, 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 block black, black forest one. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. But My question about black forest though is jelly. Yeah, I know. Because I like a I like a trifle with jelly. I, hang on. Where's the box? Have we got another trifle around somewhere? Where do we put it? Yeah, I know where it's too. Go and grab it. Can you get it? So, yeah, we, we are. Well, let's be honest. We are seventies and eighties child children. 
Um, I am more 70s. I was born in 1970. You were born in 90s. Yes, by the time you remember Trifle, you're probably mid 70s, yeah. Um, so, Trifle for us has always kind of been jelly, custard, yeah. cream, that kind of Sprinkles. thing. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Yeah, by the way, look. Oh, look what I found. So, we're going to make one of these as well. Remember these? Oh, yeah, you can still get them. Bird's Trifle. If that's not the classic 1970s trifle, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking of doing a, we might even do a retro week or a retro day where we're going to create some stuff like this. Bird's Trifle. Do you know, you can get, this is a strawberry one, you can this get raspberry, can get a raspberry one. as well. I know. So we're, gonna, we're actually going to make it and see how bad it is now. But we won't be putting it in this But dish. not in this, it'll never fit. It, it'll, be about that, it'll be about that way down, <laughs> won't it? Um, but we will do this for a bit of fun. We'll do, um, we'll do some retro recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? This could be quite fun. So I hope we should get that as well. But if you like trifle, let us know. What do you use for trifle sponges? Do you use proper trifle sponges? Do you use those posh Italian kind of fingers? Or do you use Swiss roll? Swiss roll, I reckon. Mm. I don't like the dried, the sponge fingers, you know, the dried ones that you yeah. get that you sort of stand in around. Well, cool. I don't like, well, they are sponge biscuits. fingers. I know, I don't know. No. But I don't okay. like them because when they, when they take on the liquid, they go all bitty and yeah. I don't like that. Now, my first mother-in-law, about a few, yeah, about a few, um, the trifle at Christmas was basically an alcoholic thing. There wasn't really much trifle, there was an awful lot of alcohol in it. So do we put alcohol in our trifle? Well, that's the issue, isn't it? Because again, with, with children, what do you yeah. do? I mean, our children are, well, they well, were up, 17 but, um, at Christmas. They don't really do alcohol. But, yeah. And I think with alcohol, it's sometimes got that funny sort of tang to it. Well, it, it adds flavour, a different kind of flavour, but I will remember from the past, a long time ago now, um, that that trifle never, it kind of, it never went bad. It was like it was preserved. It could be three weeks in the fridge if there was any left, and it was just still swimming in a bowl of alcohol, and it was fine. So it, it does preserve it. So if you've got any idea for um, trifle recipes, you'd like us to give them one or two a go, let us know. I'm fancy something like peach melba. Yeah, that's a possible one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Okay, I just missed the Black Forest Gatto because they got very yeah. popular the last couple of years and they've kind of stopped again this year. The only, like I said, the only Going problem retro. I have with Black Forest Gatto trifle is that it will be a chocolate mousse and not a jelly. Yeah, well, the kids Unless we can find a black cherry or a cherry jelly, which well, is could. possible. Knowing us, we could find it or we can make it with jelly and we make our own like with it. Right. We digress. Let's move on to number two. So that's the trifle dish. Love a trifle dish. Let's move it out of the way a second. We are doing this. We really are. Okay. That in shot still? Just about. Just about. Oh, a long. There you go. Long lens. Right. Number right. two. Shall we? Um, yeah. Because the ice is starting about. Shall we uh, do a drink? Right. We got three of these. Yeah. I uh, I, I cheekily contacted a company um, on Twitter and said, any chance that you send me a sample, like you do, for our YouTube channel? And uh, they did. In fact, they sent us three. So in separate packets. In separate packets. So we've not opened these yet. So I thought, oh no, they're different. That's why. Okay. Ah. Right, so they sent three ah, because there I are see. three. I couldn't work out why they sent them in individual packets. I thought, oh, well, I okay, they just sent three of the same. They didn't want them to bang up against each other yeah. in a pack. They sent, well, that's two of them. They sent Ooh. us three. Oh, this is vodka. Oh, and I thought, okay, fine. So, very quickly, so we were going to do a taste test, but we could only really do it, we didn't realise there was going to be three. So, this is Tiger Gin. So, if you've seen Tiger Gin, it retails about £35 a big bottle, which right. is about right for the kind of premium yeah. gins nowadays. Um, I've looked it up, so I'm, I'm going to be showing you a couple of pictures now. The uh, slogan is, treat your tongue to the tiger. Ooh. Ooh. Right. So, this is the traditional, it's a multiple gold winning medal awards winning, uh, gin worldwide winner all over the place, one of the most awarded gins in the world, so right. they say. It's, uh, you can drink it, this is the difference, you can drink it with ice, just by right. itself neat, because it's kind of sweet, but you can also drink it with tonic. tonic. So we were gonna do a taste test, but now we've got three, what do we do? Well, this is the original, the great the original, British yeah. one. This one I'm gonna have a quick is look called now, the classic pink. And let's be fair, what's my favourite? Pink gin, yeah, Pink exactly, gin's absolutely. My and then this one is the Great British Vodka. Which I didn't know they did. 
Well, now so, you do. So now we do. So I say let's open the pink one. Okay, so let's open the. It's called the Ruby Tiger on this. Does it say okay. that? Yeah, Ruby. So this is the Ruby one. So let's try the Ruby one. We'll keep the other two and we'll do cocktails with the other two because we need some vodka for a cocktail. So we'll use them in Cocktail Corner in the next few weeks, probably. For right. the time. Okay. Thank you very much, Tiger Gin. I didn't expect three different versions. Oh, it smells lush. No? Oh, that's got real, that's a real fruity smell, isn't it? So, whilst you quickly pour that, I'll try and find out more about Ruby, because I must admit, I didn't look it up. I just assumed it'd be the same one. So they reckon you can sip it neat over ice, yeah? Uh, they do. Well, well, this, this pink gin, our alchemist, to create a pink gin, our clever alchemist went to work and decided it had to be rhubarb. Rhubarb, let's go. It was a hard job testing all the variations and it came up with rhubarb. This beautiful pink gin is so pretty you can't help but feel happy when you look at it. Of course, when you're drinking it, it's even better. Do you know, you could drink that neat. I'm, I'm, I'm well, not a neat gin no, drinker. But this is the point, because it's sweet enough, a bit like a sipping rum, because I like it's sipping rum It as gets well. you, not at the back of the throat, but it gets you no. as it goes down. It's a but it's not one of those drinks where you go, Oof, because it's like wham. No, oh, that's really, it's lovely. It's, that, it's almost like a gin liqueur. Mm. It's quite spirity, obviously, because of the gin, but you do get that real sweetness. I'm that, going to put that's some a tonic winner. in, but that's I a winner. think Go on. I would add less tonic in this than you, you my don't want usual. Much. You just want a bit, it says. So we're using Fever Tree, just standard Fever Tree tonic water, yeah? We generally have in it. Excuse yeah, my I'm, finger. I'm going to have to get a few more pictures now for this, I didn't realise. Thank you very much. I'm I'm shocked now. I was just expecting three of those bottles, really. I was expecting one, but got three. That is lush. Nice. Oh, I could drink that quite happy. You can you can get oh, the rhubarb really, once really you lovely. like if you don't drain it in tonic you can really pick up the fruitiness and stuff. Really nice. It's really nice. I'd, I'd say I'm not saying it's we just we just got them because I literally we just, just opened those we had no idea what we got. I think that's the best pink gin I've tried in a long and time. We tried quite a few. Yeah. yeah. I think we're getting a bottle. I really like that. I think we're getting a bottle. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just going to quickly flip through to the main part of this. My yes. name is JJ Lawrence and I proudly bring you Tiger Gin. Thank you very much JJ. Gin is my passion and my favourite drink. I created a drink that is both sweet and smooth so good it can be drunk neat. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is fantastic. Um, I can I've, see why she's won awards. Yeah, I would probably go and uh, try and give you all the details of all the different bits and pieces in them but you don't need to know. Honestly you just need to know that's just really good. If you like pink gin if you like a slightly fruity, slightly sweeter gin, that's an absolute winner. Absolute winner. So you can go online for it. Um, if there is a link for it on Amazon, I'll show you that as well. But, but basically, I'll, I'll put it to their website. Oh, thank you very much. We will do some we recipes will taste with the these. Others, yeah, we will. Just to see what the others are like. And um, we'll, we'll either, well, I mean, I'll, I I'll check out the vodka, details. Because I don't drink well, vodka, yeah, so I wouldn't I, know what a good vodka was if it slapped me around the face. <laughs> I do, so we're okay. So we'll um, we'll make a couple of cocktails with these just to see if we can. Um, we have a little sip of them just to make yeah, they're quite a large ones. Yeah, we have to them sit first. Yeah, they're decent size but ones, so um, size we can get ones. away with it. Right, so we'll put these away. Thank you very much, Tiger Gin. They're really good. That's really excellent. good. Do you like my large ice cubes? Yeah, it's giant, an ice break. Giant ice Isn't bricks. It good? Yeah, I'm they thinking about building an igloo. We, <laughs> We do actually have proper gin glasses, but unfortunately got names of other brands on them. I don't think that was right. No, that's not right. So, well done to Tiger Gin, honestly. That is delicious. I, I must have, I've never seen this one. I got a bit confused. I thought it might have been one that had quite a lot of Far Eastern botanicals in it, and it's not. It's a different one with yeah, a similar because name. There's, see, I don't like Bombay Sapphire. No, and I was kind of worried it might be that because kind of thing, that but it's not. Because that to me is far too peppery and yeah. far too like botanical. I don't like that at all. I do but like normal gins, Norm, like I, I will drink normal gin without a problem, but pink gin is my favourite, I have to say. Handcrafted by artists and masters distillers using traditional methods in a copper pot with the best quality grain alcohol and pure English water distilled and bottled with great care in England. That's all you need Fantastic. to know right now. That's really good. Go I, and look at Tiger Gin. Tiger Gin. I'll put the link down because that is worth buying. If you buy any and there's a 
quote on there somewhere telling me got it from because Big of that. All right. So, talking of, we'll leave the best for last. <laughs> well, although that, that's very good. Um, oh my yeah, god. I know. <laughs> You have no uh, idea what I have to put up with on a daily basis, you really do. Well, I'm quite often sitting at my desk doing the editing and then think, I've got <sighs> Facebook on, I've got all the bits of social media going on on screens and I'm thinking... Oh. I don't know what goes through his head, I really don't. <laughs> I don't think anybody really needs to know what goes through his head because mm. I think that would be quite a frightening place to be. Yeah, you'd be surprised but, um, what I might try and try and ask for online. Yeah, um, so, well, go on. Sometimes you get companies that put on stuff saying, we'll send you free samples. Um, and I really like this, but we we bought we this bought them before. before, and they were brilliant. I loved them, but then we tried looking in every shop, every supermarket They've been sold for weeks, and you for can't weeks get them. And weeks and weeks to the point you can't get them. So I contacted the company. They were very good, and they sent me um, some A samples. Portion. Well, they sent me some samples, yeah. <laughs> and it's um, Lou biscuits, L U yeah. biscuits. It's Lou the biscuits. new French biscuits that are making um, a massive impact, actually. Yeah. Um, they're they're you know, obviously right? from France, and there's several different types. There's a lemon one. There's there's a lemon one which is kind of soft, a bit like a cake almost. Yeah. When we eat it, there's, there's a butter one. There's a butter one which is absolutely lovely. It's sort of it's a plain biscuit, almost texture like rich tea, but, but not quite as hard. Deep butter but it's flavor. got a buttery, salty taste to it. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. A bit like a, we reckon a bit like a Werther's original. That kind of butterscotchy yeah, kind of thing going on. Yeah, butterscotch flavour. Yeah. And then there's this one. Well, they've got another one which is a cinnamony one. Yeah, a cinnamon one. Yeah, but this one I wanted um, because it's the chocolate. It's the one with the chocolate on. So it's very similar. In fact, it's almost identical so, to the Belson biscuit. That's the biscuit, one. Yeah. Which is like a hard biscuit underneath with, with a really chocolate. thick milk chocolate but or dark chocolate. The difference is with this top. is it's a slightly more um, wheaty biscuit on this yeah. one. Yeah. And I love them when I when we found them. I could have put some weight back on just thinking about it. But I love these and then we couldn't get them anywhere. We haven't been able to so get them. So they said long time. they're giving samples away. Oh let's get sample. Right? So it's taken some weeks to get this arriving. Yeah. Uh, and I've got two biscuits. Which is great because that is a portion control for John. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> I spent three weeks uh, talking about portion controls I know. Um, and feeding him juice <laughs> and two biscuits is exactly is a mount for the entire week. Look, there's a lot of effort getting these, but I've got two biscuits anyway. Okay, so I've got two biscuits for a cup of tea. You'll probably see me have a cup of tea some point on another one of these, and um, I think to drinks, and I'll probably eat these biscuits. But do look out for Lou biscuits. Yeah, they are absolutely they're really good. They're, they're in every supermarket, but maybe not the chocolate one, unless you're lucky. Um, the weird thing is, since they sent me this, I've had three emails asking me what I think of them. Three emails, and I've only had two biscuits. Come on. So, so your marketing people are pretty hefty, um, but you could double send me a packet. But, but two, two will do for now. Thank you very much. Not even that. Marketing people, you could do with getting some back in the supermarket. That would we be can't good. Get them. Yeah, we can't get them. Corn so there's anyway. no point to tell you what we think about them, which we think they're great. We do, but, but unless you can get them in the supermarkets, we can well, get them. Two so is just, just a, a tantalising glimpse on my taste buds. Two right now. I've got to wait a week for the rest of the At least. Look at this, oh, last one for today. There was going to be another one, but the BBC Good Food Christmas magazine hasn't arrived yet. But we're not sure what's going on with all these postal strikes. No, exactly. But it's due at um, any time. But it's due very soon. And um, The BBC Good Food Christmas one is the one, even if you don't collect, don't get this every week. This is the one that, you get. from the time that I met John, which has got to be 12 years yeah, plus now. Every year. Every year. I mean, we might not buy it regularly, although this year we have subscribed and it's been brilliant. But... Up to the build up for Christmas, come sort of late October, early yeah, November. Because there was a month in advance. He is there like a shot. Yeah. It's, it's the Christmas one, it's the Christmas one. Yeah, I know. We look at the calendar and realise that all the recipes on the calendar are rubbish, but we don't use the calendar. And then you get, but the book is thick. Yeah. Um, I even, I even try and get an Irish version, which we've, we've managed to do, but I just love the Christmas food magazines because it, it kind of, the thing about Christmas, and we'll discuss this on a Things for Drinks, is it's not the same as it used to be and it's not the same as it probably how most of us I remember as kids they show you all these massive big party kind of things and yeah. people don't do parties now 
Well, I, th I think certainly since they're smaller now. from COVID. Yeah. And yeah, sadly, families are getting smaller because we can't afford to keep big families anymore. No. Don't we to open this with yeah. sisters? Yeah, and talking with big, of big families, um, we've gone to Italy for this, kind of. Um, pasta. Well, we've right. gone to Amazon. We've gone to Amazon, but it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, but it would have been it. Um, pasta and retro. Now, I love pasta. I didn't get this side, but I didn't love pasta. But it's normally pasta shapes and pasta shells and pasta twists and well, bows you and have spaghetti things. quite regularly. Yeah, no, I have. But it's not spaghetti. It's it's not like this. This is spaghetti. Wow. Look. People of a certain age will know what this is, and people who are younger won't have any idea, right? But we are showing you what spaghetti really is, okay? And I had to buy loads. That's spaghetti. That's spaghetti as well. Yeah, this is spaghetti. This is proper, decent... Italian uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti, yeah. We've got a couple of kilos worth of spaghetti. Uh, what's my portion control like now? Significantly reduced. You're all that real to. trouble trying to work out portion control. This is proper spaghetti, decent length spaghetti. You can't get long, long length spaghetti. spaghetti anywhere because it doesn't sit on. Is that what you think it is? I do I'm wonder sure if that's, that's the reason. It's because they can't store it. Because so I had to get it literally imported. I mean, yeah, you might be able to get it. Luckily, um, we're hoping to go in to do visit a sort of Italian need down Yeah, you may be able to get it in somewhere like Carluccio's yeah. and I know they're around somewhere a lot. In the big cities, somewhere, but some Italian sort of shops. Yeah, because this is, this is proper Italian spaghetti, so you'll be seeing a spaghetti recipe very soon. But who remembers proper length spaghetti? Stuff that you tried spiraling on a fork, it became so big, about the size of a football. Well, it's a bit and you like Lady in the face. Tramp. Yeah, that's the one. Well, we can do that. And it goes that? on and on and on and on and that's, on. That's a thumbnail, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be good. So, uh, if you remember long spaghetti, what did you think? Or did you always cut it up into little pieces because you weren't um, very See, good I at the twirly bit? The, I always yeah. cut it into little pieces. I, I think I need a big like, napkin on. I think you need it. Probably do that yeah. for every bit of food I normally eat. Yeah. Um, so, that's, that's the... Uh, that's, Nail time. I'm really what bad with portioning spaghetti. Well, I'm really bad at portioning pasta and rice. I mean, you could kill someone with one of these. They're so heavy. Honestly, not, you could kill someone. I don't know. I mean, I know like what it says on the packet, but when you put what it says on the packet, you, you think, think that ain't never going to be four. Honestly, God, you could, you, could not, you could club someone to death with one of them. So if anybody's got like a decent I've plan. I've got a chain of, on this. I do martial arts. Of how like yeah. you portion it out. Then, then well, let me go. I, I suggest you stick to the portion size they say. But I probably don't even say on here. Might be on the inside. This is just a wrap on the outside. There, there are plastic Best wrap before. Inside. Oh, we got to eat it by August 2024. So that's okay. Uh, I'll eat it by August 2023. Um, Cooking time, 10 minutes. That's a load of rubbish. It'll be at least 15. Yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See, <laughs> I don't mind spaghetti done properly, but I also have well, to deal with... I don't mind spaghetti done, done by Kelly either. Um, Kelly is the old school, old school English, aren't you? I learned, I learned a lot of my cooking from my grandma. Yeah. And what I didn't and learn so did from I grandma, from I learned from school. But I am completely of the opinion that vegetables need to be soft. I don't get this yeah. bitey bits business. That, Boil them to be in no, your life. Yeah, yeah, they need to be cooked properly. Yeah. And pasta's the same. I don't get this al dente business. <laughs> And even rice, I no, I don't want this al dente thing. No, no bite in it. No, no. And one of the things, because I struggle really badly in pasta and rice now because of the operation I had, but I can eat risotto. Yeah. But even I always cook my risotto really for a bit longer. Yeah. Because I'm sure that the al dente bit does not help my digestion. So if we do spaghetti recipes or pasta recipes, we would explain about al dente, but when we get to go to eat it, it will be a lot softer. There if you, you go. don't like it, you can cook it yourself. That's, <laughs> That's true. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, do all those things. Come and join us on Big Oggy World and me on Big Oggy Golf. And come and join Mail Time. And if you've got anything you want to send us, please do. Just contact me by email and we'll, we'll stick it on a Mail Time. And if there's any companies out there who want to showcase things, 
preferably more than two biscuits. Come on. You're big. Tiger yeah, Jen, that's thank you lovely. Very much. Thank you very much. Um, you are stars, Tiger Jen, really are today. Um, and we'll give you publicity, and that's fine. And if we like the stuff, we'll tell you. If you don't like the stuff, we'll tell you. Yeah. Because you know, these things, we may not have liked the gin. We would have said if he didn't. We may not have liked the pasta. We would have said if he didn't. We may not like the biscuits, and we would have said if he didn't. Do we go? We go. We're saying goodbye. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much to all the people for sending stuff to us and me getting a good deal for, on Amazon for this. We'll see you all again in probably about an hour when I start putting together a Mediterranean soup. And it's a proper good one. Are you going to yeah. use any of this chopped up in it? Uh, no, gonna, we're not, no, but it one. is a proper Italian recipe Carlucci. from Carluccio. So do check in when you see it up because it is absolutely really worth a go. Really good. Right. Bye, Let's everyone. Go, see you later. Bye.